top 10 places to visit in the Philippines. Welcome to Lap City, where you can see timeless videos infused with travel guides and other related stuff. If you are new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with our latest videos. As of this recording, we are facing COVID-19 pandemic, and soon we'll carry on with a new way of living. As such, social distancing and modified travel regulations will be implemented. A friendly reminder to go to these places when pandemic is really over. I repeat, a friendly reminder to go to these places when pandemic is really over. Also, take precautionary measures because our health is our topmost priority. This is just a short list of places based on the criteria that we tackled on our previous video. Please check out in the description if you haven't so. Without further ado, let's start with number 10. Have a quick weekend getaway to Zambales. With its proximity to Manila, you can experience its wide beach easement, pine trees, coves, mountains, actually one of which is a volcano, and many other natural wonders. Enjoy different activities and learn history as well. I'm pretty sure that your Zambales experience is bang for your buck. One of the post-pandemic scenario in the way that people will travel is at number 9. Number 9 is to have a staycation in Tagaytay. This sounds like a norm especially for people living in Manila or nearby areas. But travelers will be more cautious for quite some time in using public transportation, thus they will have usual Tagaytay road trip. They will also rent accommodation with nice view tal volcano and have a good food and enjoy moments with close neat friends. Number 8. Let's go to Limasawa. Quite familiar, right? Limasawa is famous and is believed to be the site of the first mass in the Philippines. With just a size of 10 kilometers from north to south, and with just a population of more or less 6,000 residents, I would say that this tiny island is like Halo Halo, full of flavors. I couldn't mention so much about the things to do here, but this map will serve you as a guide. Moving on with number 7, Catanduanes. Catanduanes is an island province located in the Bicol region of Luzon in the Philippines. It is the 12th largest island in the Philippines. There is so much things to do here and yet Catanduanes is untouched with mass tourism. With the Instagram-worthy viewpoints, cliffs, rolling hills, waterfalls, surf spots, and beaches. This province, also known as Land of the Howling Winds, will give you unforgettable memories. Let's go with number 6 which is road trip to Ilocos. Learn history, enjoy food, do some adventurous activities, and many others. Truly, Ilocos has best option to offer. This is a place for sightseeing and stunning coastlines. If you're thinking of road trips as a form of traveling, Ilocos will not go ages. Meanwhile, number five on our list is Bukidnon. This landlocked province welcomes you with their mountains, lakes, rivers, and cliffs. This province is perfect for thrill seekers as the tourist destinations offers extreme activities such as hiking, sky bike, rappelling, rock climbing, and spending a night in a cliff. Due to its topography, Bukidnon's climate is relatively cool and humid throughout the year. Bukidnon is the primary food basket of Mindanao. Before we proceed with top 4 lists, I would say that I'm having a hard time arranging top 4, 3, and 2 spots. Personally, this might change depending on your preference. For now, this is my best judgment. Top 4 is the surfing mecca of the Philippines, none other than Siargao. With its countless palm trees, abundant surf spots, lagoons, rivers, and many more, this is an epitome of island living. There are direct flights from Manila or connecting flights from Cebu. I would say that spending a week in this island is not enough. Locals are really friendly and many foreigners settled here and got in love with this island. Truly, Siargao should be on your bucket list. Number 3 is Palawan. I'm sure most of us will think of Puerto Princesa or El Nido. But this time, why don't we try on some places like Taytay, Port Barton, San Vicente, Long Beach, Fort Isabel, Coron, and many more. For foodies, try Palawan Brewery, visit Vietville, or try Tamilok if your taste bud seeks for adventure. Number 2 is Kalinga and Apayao. As travelers will look for more underrated spots in their bucket list, why not try to check out these places? Breathtaking mountain ranges and enriched culture that was untouched with colonialism. I'm sure that our cameras are not enough to justify the beauty of this place, 
Meanwhile, a big deciding factor for us to go to these Cordillera provinces is Baguio City. Baguio City is also known as the gateway of Cordillera as a good pandemic response. Government's implementation gained confidence in traveling to these places. Before I talk about top one place to go to the Philippines, thank you as you've reached this far watching my video. A simple gratitude please suggest places that should be in the list and include hashtag LapCTTravelGuide in the comment section and I'll do shout out in the next episodes. This is the least that I can do for you and thank you so much guys. For number one, drum roll please! Batanes. Batanes is the northernmost province in the country and also the smallest, both in population and land area. Its capital is Basco, located in the island of Batan. Often described as the New Zealand of the Philippines, Batanes is not easy to go to. Flights are often quite expensive, waves were enormous, and the islands contain very little establishment. Be sure to bring cash when you get there. But these hiccups will all vanish with its breathtaking view, rich culture, and serenity of the place. Batanes is also famous for their honesty store as there is no cashier and you just need to pay with the price tag written on it. Thanks again for watching. If you want more travel guides like this, don't forget to hit the like button so that we can identify videos that you love and will make better content in the similar format in the future. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button as well. Have a nice day and stay safe!